What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here bringing you this week's Patch Notes Recap and we once again have a whole bunch of stuff with a lot of events in it so this is going to be long regardless of how I slice it but I'm going to do my best to skip over a lot of the relevant stuff, the UI, graphic changes and things like that and just focus on the main points and what's really going on and then as always if you want to dig into each line I'll put the uh, link to the Patch Notes directly in the description below so you can check it out. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Uh, first off, we got the Be My Love event, which has begun. This bad boy is, we've had this before, I believe, last year around Valentine's Day was something similar to this, if not exactly this one. While you're grinding, you can get this little cocoa thing. Um, and then you take that with two mineral waters and uh, what kind of ground up stuff of this sugar uh, here. And you can make the cocoa chocolate thing. Is that cocoa or cacao? Like cacao, whatever chocolate you make the chocolate bar thing that we've been getting for the event of sending the letters um the knowledge gain diddly thing there so you, yeah that's for grinding which kind of feels counterintuitive for what you would want while you're grinding because then we have this one with fishing which seems like you'd want this while grinding. anyway whatever it doesn't matter uh love in a bottle basically while you're fishing you can get one of these three types of bottles a yellow blue or red one uh the yellow one has a message which you do stuff with and get stuff the uh uh, message there's also a message one um, sorry St type one is the story quest the yellow ones you get a message in a bottle diddly thing it's got a quest that you complete and you get contribution for it then you've got the summon boss uh, quest type which summons a boss you kill it and then you get memory fragments for it and then the third type is just a sellable item ranging from 100k to 2.5 mil so there's that pretty straightforward pretty cool fishing event although I did do some active fishing today and I can't say it was like super crazy odds on these much lower than like octopus or koi fish for sure um but yeah so there's that moving on wrong tab moving on now uh we've got the show your love event it's a lovely event that has two parts please read below for details i'll do that for you event one my favorite npc um it starts february 13th after minutes until the 27th at target npcs amerigo soryu furis or ion curis probably butchered those names uh, basically, you raise your Amity up uh, with each of these NPCs. You can do all of them as well. When you get the Amity of 1,000, you get a Cron Meal box. And when you get the Amity of 1,500, you get this little setup here, a Chocolate Pack 3X, which you right-click to open, and then you'll get three of each of these things here that you open up. They stack, so if you do it with each NPC for 1,000 Amity, you get the 1,000 rewards. If you do it with the 1,500, you get the 1,500 rewards across all of them, and that's pretty much that. Uh, Mount Training Fever event has begun. What is that, you might ask? Well, it's all training XP and Mount XP increased by 100% throughout all servers, uh, other than Olvia servers, although they will be uh, getting it to work on Olvia servers uh, later on with a future announcement, so watch for that if you're chilling on Olvia. Uh, continuing events, we still got Send Love and the Serbianka vouchers going, Cakewalk thing, uh, and Fortune Favor the Bold, and along with Mamor. Uh, Cakewalk, that's good news, now we can finally get our inventory space back when we're out grinding. Um, they've got the stream Streamer Battle Royale thing going on Sunday, so I guess check that out if you're interested in it. Uh, new content, this one's pretty good, we talked about it in a previous video when KR got this, but Dark Rifts are spawning all over Black Desert uh, World where uh, bosses consumed by the Black Spirit are appearing throughout. Basically, uh, these rifts just kind of show up, um, spawn a boss, it's instance, at least the boss of it is instance, similar to when you do a memory scroll, so uh, you kill the boss and you get stuff for it. Um, if the portal has spawned and been there for one hour, uh, then it'll actually show up on the world map so that you could go to it with, uh, while looking at it if it had already been there. It'll be a, ta a maximum of 10 world bosses from the Dark Rift spawn, you need to defeat the previous one in order to have a new world boss. Um, penalties are not applied when you die to the boss, they are applied if you die to another monster around it, like get really low off the boss and then die to something else that hits you, that will cause death penalties. Um, and you have to have completed the newly added quest, um, Memories of the Past, to open your Dark Rift. Um, you have to have completed it for your class to obtain, uh, you have to have completed the Awakening quest of your class to obtain the Awakening Complete Memories of the Past from the Black Spirit, so keep that in mind if you haven't done it already. Uh, and you can find more out about the Dark Rift here, which I have opened here. Um, so just, we, we kind of covered what it is, you have to finish the quest, spawn some stuff, you kill it, there's the rift, and then here's here's what we're looking for is your rewards for what you can get. You can see you get this Dark Spirit's Greed, and they can be stacked up to trade it in for these items here. Um, latent Auras, on a certain amount you can get item collection scrolls when you have 10 of them, which is pretty nice. Cooking Utensil, Alchemy Utensil, a Valk set 20, Magic Crystal, Origin Stone, and then a 35 Valks and a 50 Valks as well. Um, you can also get these bad boys here that drop. Based on the difficulty, you can obtain a box of silent, box of the silent, distorted, or desperate dead, and the items can be obtained from each type 
um, of the Box of the Dead, you get you right click and you can obtain any of the listed items in there uh, up to duo tier. So nice little extra bonus when you're out grinding to just kind of pick this up. And if you can farm enough of these guys, in it, you can get some decent rewards over time. So boom, moving on next thing. Oh, it had it listed here. Didn't know that. We could have just read it off there. War Hero system is added. This replaced the Militia system. Um, Militia is now removed. War Hero. Uh, we actually talked about this uh, in in quite in depth in a previous video when uh, it was launched in the KR servers. Uh, basically, you can be temporarily hired within a, an alliance that's going to a war um, type and get paid for it uh, once per day. Is kind of the gist of it. If you want to dive into the specifics just uh, check out the link below or check out uh, the KR patch note video news update video from last week because we cover it there as well um, there's the rewards for it how contract termination works uh, there's a guild member vacation system guild members who select a vacation cannot receive guild benefits they will be able to maintain their guild membership without affecting the guild capacity when there are 10 adventures who are on vacation in a massive guild 100 people or 100 out of 100 rather the guild can hire 10 adventurers as a war hero when there are five adventurers who are on vacation in a large guild the, the guild can hire five adventurers as a war hero you can use the feature through apply for vacation apply for vacation or return for vacation uh, you can view war hero information war hero registration will be rejected when closing the war hero contract uh, system updates all 7 was changed to shadow arena server part will be maintained even when you go back to character selection screen server change disconnect and after you play a match of shadow arena New system where the funds claimed in horse market and breed, breeding market will vary depending on training level that has been added. Um, we talked about this also coming in a previous video as well. We also talked about it a bit on the live stream. Currently, 30% tax is implemented on the silver claimed in the horse market and breeding market. Um, you can see here what the amounts are increased on silver claimed listed in each chart up to 20 here starting from apprentice. So there you go. Check out that chart if you need to see where you're at so you know what the bonus is. Shadow Arena changes. Um, default setting for voice chat, UI, and party play will be set it off. Black Spirit notifications, which appear on the top left corner in phases as soon as Shadow Arena match starts, will now change whenever 10 players have been eliminated. Added a timer, which counts the time survived at the bottom of the minimap. When the maximum cap of 50 is filled up in a Shadow Arena match, a system message starting soon will now appear. A couple of issue fixes in there, and party will be maintained even when you go back to character selection, screen, server, change, disconnect, and after you play a match of Shadow Arena. Game world and NPC effects added more NPCs available for you to confess your love in NPC dating. So if you were trying to get into the Valencian Princess Saya, Saya Nesser's dress, you now have that opportunity. So uh, have fun with that game mechanic. Item changes, new usage, option of houses, old moon costume mill have been added. You can create Carl Scene outfits in the following old moon costume mills listed in the chart right there. Check out the Pearl Shop in just a little bit. Adjusted the time for boss spawns to allow world boss monsters Quint and Morocco to appear twice a week. Uh, basically, they added them at, if you're East Coast, um, they added them at a good old Wednesday night at 1.15 a.m. for East Coast. Um, I don't think that's going to bother me because I wasn't going to go to Quint and Morocco anyhow. But yeah, if you're West Coast, NA is probably fine and EU has probably decent times for most. But yeah, I, I don't actually know why they ever put relevant bosses in so that 1.15 a.m. on a weekday matters. They just changed Garmouth from that, but I don't care. Next, we have interface changes. We're skipping that this week to not make this a 100-hour video. Some resolved issues following classes no longer display in a normal motion when getting off a horse with a main weapon equipped. Uh, Berserker, when dealing with the Gotharensa armor equipped, the character's knees will no longer be revealed. Okay, great. And a known issue with uh, right-clicking on the mini-map or world map set navigation not working properly after reaching level 7 at the end of the tutorial. So they're going to work on that. And we're aware of an issue where training XP and mount XP increase effects are not being applied to Olvia servers, which was mentioned up top. Let's check out Pearl Shop. We have the Lawn Heidel Masquerade Pack. The Heidel Masquerade things existed before. I guess we just have it for Lawn. And it's got a little pack to go with it. So we got the Valentine's Cat in there. A Cupid's balloon thingy. So if you're trying to look cute for your boyfriend on Valentine's Day, take you out to nice dinner. Guess what? It's ready for a trip to I don't know Belia or something. Wherever they're cooking up a nice meal in the game. I I tried that didn't work. Anyways, next, lovely wagon pack. Uh, there you go. Have your in-game boyfriend or the sayer whatever that you just started dating take you to your Valentine's date in this care. We're done here. Next. Special chocolate sets. Uh, let's see. This is an energy potion, I believe. Yep, energy tonic is also included in every set for one loyalty. That's pretty cool. So might as well pick that up. Some chocolatey stuff there with stuff inside those. Limited, we've got the Cabellius de Venus uh, brought in for all classes except for uh, Archer. Yep, just Archer. It doesn't have it. So there you go. If you're trying to look like a half-naked angel, now's your time. Shine on, friend. Uh, everybody got this sweet little helmet, which actually goes nicely with your half-naked angel look, so that could work out together. 
We got an underwear sale. Hooray. Victoria's Secret's in town this week, boys. So, yep, get yourself these shiny little... Actually, I have pan I have boxers just like this in real life, but they have like a red shimmer to them. Let me tell you, I'm looking mighty good when I wear those. So, I get it, guys. I get it. Anyhow, that is going to be it for this video. We got our news coverage. Try to cover it as fast as possible for you. Uh, as I could and again if there was anything you wanted to hear more in depth that I didn't dive into be sure to check out the patch notes below if you haven't already make sure you like this video and subscribe so that you get updates whenever we put uh, new videos out which is all the time new stuff coming out and if you want to catch the live streams which are every weekend we do a little drinking a little enhancing have some fun maybe a little rap in here or there then make sure you follow the Twitch page, which has the link in the description below. Uh, there's also Discord and Twitter if you want to jump into those or you want to uh, message me or talk to me directly. Discord is definitely the best way to do that. So you can hop on in the server and hit me up if you want to. Uh, anyway, this, that is going to be it for this video. Everybody, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.